Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and here we are in front of my filament wall because I want to show you something kind of cool. You know Devin, over at the Make Anything channel, he made these twisty vases that he that made this, this satisfying kind of movement. Isn't that cool? One fits inside of the other, and uh, it works because the one is smaller than the other, but it's smaller by a certain degree, so the tolerance allows just enough air to get in or get out. If your tolerance is off one way or another, it's either going to go too fast and fall out, or it's going to go too slow. And that's really slow. And then, on the flip side, now gravity has to overcome the force of suction to pull this out, and because the amount of airflow needed to move it faster isn't there, it goes slow. Science is cool, kids. You know, I was thinking after I printed this, man, this is, this is a totally satisfying toy to play with. But sure enough, there, there must be a way to make it cooler. And well, I think there is. All right, yeah, these are probably the biggest twisty vases I've ever printed or that Devin's probably ever seen. Each one of these is more than 51 centimeters tall. That's between zero and 100 inches in American units. One of these is supposed to fit into the other. And I printed these on my Raise 3D N2 Plus with Raise 3D Purple PLA. Let's see if they work. I scaled them up. All right, it's kind of working. It's going awfully slow. And if I look at the top, when I try to pick it up, I can see this bottom layer of this one actually being sucked in as it's trying to battle the suction created. So it looks like this is like the second twisty vase connection that I showed where the tolerance between the two pieces is a little too small. How do we fix that? My idea is with a drill. So on the bottom of this piece, if we can make some holes, then the air that needs to be sucked in or escape, depending on which way it's going, can do it faster. I really have no idea if this is going to work, so let's try it. All right, we now have two precise holes in this. Let's see what happens. It's going a little faster. Oh wow, you can actually, you can put your hand above these holes and you can feel the air blowing out. So I, I went and got this unused piece of toilet paper and I'm gonna hold it above these holes because I want you to see the air that's coming out. So I figured that's a good way of demonstrating that. That's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a satisfying sound. There's three holes in it right now, and what I'm going to do is put two more in with the drill. All right, I've got five holes in this, and I'm gonna put it over this, and let's see how it goes. <laughs> it worked. All right. When it goes all the way to the bottom, you do have to jump start it a little bit. All right. This is kind of cool. Uh, Devin, a big thanks to you over at the Make Anything channel. You guys, if you're not already subscribed, go subscribe. It's a wonderful channel. Devin is just killing it with the most amazing projects possible. Also, Dustin, over at the Jatman channel, he's going to have some of these that he printed on his CR10, I believe. And so I'll put a link down to Dustin's channel as well. 
Uh, beyond that, there's only one last test, and that's to see if it fits on my head. Did it work? <laughs> this was this was actually a lot of fun, and honestly, uh, I I didn't test fit these until I did this video. I did want to see. Uh, if it worked and I wanted to have an honest reaction and so that was an honest reaction. I just can't believe it works. And it's so satisfying, that sound. <laughs> so cool. All right, now I'm gonna see if I can close out this video in the time it takes for this to go all the way down. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. A big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys as always. High five. <sighs> that was awesome.